Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial we're going to be changing a server and a DDWRT router for a VPN supplier CyberGhost. Here you can see the username and passwords blocked out for obvious reasons. Server at the moment is connected to USA. Now because we're in the UK and it's a USA server you're going to get a lot of latency on this. Now we've got an 8020 line which basically means we're sort of fibre to the cabinet. Not a lot of the UK unless you're on Virgin and we normally get about sort of 68 to 72 without a VPN. Now this is actually an R7000 and it's connected to uh, the United States via um, CyberGhost and the customer's basically requested it's connected to USA or else normally we'd set it to a, a UK server. It, it's quite slow, I don't know if it's going to do the customer or not, obviously he wants it for whatever reason, um, but obviously because it's going to America it's just adding loads of latency. What we're going to do is log into the um, customer's account so without further ado, uh, sign into your account. Okay, once you sign into the account, uh, on the left hand side you can see I've uh, covered all the information up of the, uh, the customer's details. You're going to click on click configure new, new device up here. Select protocol, you want to be selecting open VPN. Select your country, this is obviously the thing we're, we're after doing now. So you come down here and select, uh, select UK, wherever it is, da -da, United Kingdom. Group select. Now basically it's asking you here streaming or premium services, standard services, streaming. You would put your device there, say router UK. And then obviously you can select here what you want. Click save and download configuration. Okay, now what that's going to do is download a, a zip file. So again, like I say, I'm not going to go into too much detail. So I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to be adding something else to a customer's uh, configuration. So what that's going to do is that's going to um, download a zip file. Now inside that zip file, if you come to this address, which I will leave in the uh, description, this is a, a pictured guide on telling you exactly what to do. So I'm, I'm just going to run through it quickly. Um, you can read all this if you want to, but the only bit selection really that you need to know is when it comes down to here. Uh, we just need to change four details basically, which is once you've opened it up, you're going to get. Let's see if I've still got one open. Okay, so this is the the USA server that we've just set up. Now, obviously for UK one, you've downloaded it, you've unzipped it. I'm not going to go into that. How you unzip it? I'm sure you know how to do that. You're going to cape. You're going to copy where it says remote. You're going to highlight that all the way to the end of the net. Okay, highlight, copy that. And then you minimize that and go to the router. Okay, so in the server details, you're going to put, you're going to paste into there the server. Obviously, we haven't changed it, but under normal circumstances, you would be changing that to say UK for argument's sake. And then you're going to scroll down. Uh, now here, we just need to put these three certificates in. Now in the zip file, you'll have three certificates. You'll have a CA certificate and a client key. <coughs> Right, sorry about that. Okay, in here you're going to see you've got three, uh, four files. One is this this one here, which is the OpenVPN file. is basically that, as you, as you see in there. And you can see the three certificates, well, the three uh, other files are here. <coughs> now, really, you want Notepad++ to you to do this. Now, I'll leave a link in the description for that. Right, once you've unzipped it, Uh, right, so once, once you've unzipped it, you're going to get these four files. That one there is obviously your OpenVPN file. Now, these here is your, your CA certificate. So if you right click on that and you've got uh, Notepad++ installed, edit with that. Okay, so that's going to give you this key. So highlight from the top of there all the way to the bottom of there. And click copy. And then we're going to go back to uh, here. And that goes the CA certificate goes in this fold in this uh, field here. So if you're changing that, highlight it all, delete it, and then paste it in. Now the reason why I say delete it is because you just want to make sure you've got it all and left nothing behind, or else it's not going to work. Uh, okay, so that one, edit again. Now this one's the client certificate, so highlight that. 
Now, again, you must make sure you've got it all, as you can see there, or you can go up here and select all and do it that way. Copy. Back to here. Now, the client key, you can see it says there, public client certificate. Sorry, so sorry, I'm getting the words muddled up now. I'm trying to rush. So highlight all that, click delete, and then click paste. Obviously, I'm putting the same information back in, but in your case, you're going to be changing, aren't you? So next one, open the client key. Edit. So again, it's here, client key. Highlight it all and click copy. Now, the client key goes into here. If you highlight that, delete it and click paste. Now, you can see that's gone into there. Now, what you want to do is click save and apply. I didn't understand that. So, we've applied settings. Just want to go status, open VPN, and you can see connections success. Now, you may need to sometimes just do a reboot with that. Different companies are different. Depends on how the uh, how it's cached, really. So that's obviously working. You can come back here and do uh, see, make sure your location's changed, and also you can do another speed check. Now, obviously, I'm leaving that because we're still on the USA at the minute. So it's as simple as easy as that, guys. Now, there is, um, as I say, if you found anything I've said a bit baffling um, or anything like that, um, the information's here now really all it's saying to you is if you come down to this section here like I say when you're only changing this what we've already done for you and you're just changing the server you just need to change them three keys well certificates and just change the address here where it's asking you about the server IP which is what we've run through on the video uh, and obviously the main important thing is to click save now what I've just done is I just wanted to open this uh, the first page up so set up basic setup now just one thing to remember that the um, DNS is actually carried via the VPN but they always advise you to put it into the local settings now because we're on in the USA or it, the internet thinks we're in the USA we're using a DNS server from the USA now you'll see this number here 38132106139 is here and that's basically the USA DNS now the UK one is here beneath so what I would advise guys if you're switching from the USA normally you'll find that the English uh, the United Kingdom one will be at the top but obviously this customer specifically asked for other to be in the USA so we always put it the other way around so there's one thing worth mentioning is you want to swap them the other way around if you can uh, it's to be perfectly honest with you it wouldn't really matter unless the VPN there's a problem with the VPN and you start to get DNS leak so unless you're using policy based routing and things like that it's not going to really affect you too much but just wanted to mention it to you I'll leave again leave that in the description for you so hopefully you've understood that and it's not been too baffling normally I like to do a video and change obviously if we're in the USA we'd actually change it physically in front of you to the UK but because this is a customer's account, I don't want to start adding things into his, uh, adding two routers into his um, his devices because he's only allowed six. Uh, I'm not sure if they allow you to just delete it straight away or if uh, it, you're going to get like so many changes a month. So I just don't want to get involved with that. So hopefully that's of some of use to you. And um, please share, comment and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.